So here I was, the new continent just opened up, and everyone is here trying to pull a vehicle. You know, just waiting for my supposedly ace place in a queue. But that was when I saw this suspicious Sunday made a turn, and... The Sandru update. It is finally here guys. After a very long time of anticipation, the new Sandru update has finally arrived. And you know that it's a very good one because it took 7 months of development. So welcome to the downtown traffic. Because every single person is wanting to try the new Sandru in the patch day. I've been waiting for like 5 minutes just to see what awaits at the end of the traffic jam. But you know, it's downtown. It's every man for himself. There is no yielding, reckless drivers and jaywalkers everywhere. I need to take my chance and cut everyone off so I can finally get to the front. Anyways, along with a new update, the Aerial Anomaly Air Alert is back. And that means there is only one thing to do. Assemble all our forces, work together as a team, and beat up anybody who is actually putting aircraft. Because the deposit zone is like right on top of us. In fact, you can actually use the new central deployment slot point defense in this situation to even increase the top gun firepower. Now unfortunately I have to deploy to use that so I can't sit side by side with the boys. I have to do it alone outside the non-deployment zone. And what just happened to all of them? But speaking of the deployment slots, you can also use the Pirocco Cloaking which is now available at the 4th rank or the new deploy dome which creates a one-way shield around the Sunday. But does it actually keep the Sandler alive? I am doing the off-hour Sunday survival challenge to find that out. And that is 14 minutes guys, and it only took me like 3 takes after a single engineer kept side charging with tank mines. And it is part thanks to this all new powerful defense slot which you can use in addition. Enhanced plating will give you increased resistance against small damage, while reactive armor can block a single burst damage on each side of a vehicle. Meanwhile, the nanite armor provides a passive heal in addition to burst heal on activation, and somehow always ends up with more health than the amount you started to fight with. So basically, you can choose the most appropriate armor that fits each and every situation. Taking a lot of chip damage, nanite armor. Taking a burst damage, nanite armor. Taking a multi-directional damage, nanite armor. Taking an emotional damage, nanite armor. So make sure to always consider your situation, and then pick the most appropriate nanite armor until it gets nerfed in the next patch. And now finally, we have the cargo slot, where a passive proxy repair, resupply, recon, and GSD can now also be deployed as a deployable for an increased effectiveness. You probably have seen them already retooled everywhere across the map. Because wherever the standard death terrain goes, these deployables follow like a trail of horse tank. And to use them, all you need to do is to just mash your keyboard and find the random key it is assigned until it comes out from the behind. Now besides causing collision and chaos in the battlefield, it works as simple as support buses were before. Except the GSD or Shield Breaker now works as an area of effect so you can possibly illuminate all the pinnacles around you. 
And so literally, if any one of these Sandras were carrying the Shield Breaker cargo, they all can actually enter the tech plant at once, instead of having a staring contest between a shielded gate. But the best way to make the most use out of a cargo slot is actually by staying far away from the front line, find a good spot, and then deploy the barbecue stand module. So you can have a nice weekend afternoon.